Happy Canada Day! Canada's 150th. We're in the small town of Rosemary. It's this itty bitty town outside of Dinosaur Provincial Park. And apparently every year they have a lot of Canada Day festivities and the whole city gets flooded. Also, we'd like to thank Haley, Bree, and Lara for these adorable hats to equip us on Canada Day. They'll, uh, they'll give us some shade on yeah. this hot Canada Day out here in the Alberta prairies. And we are about to head to a pancake breakfast, a mm -hmm. by donation one. So that's gonna be the best breakfast we've had in a while. Oh I'm my God. super, super stoked for that. It's gonna be so good that we have a bunch of other Canada Day stuff today. And we're also visiting somewhere awesome that I'm not gonna say yet. You just have to keep watching. So good. We demolished that. The eggs are so good. One on the street waiting for a parade. There's so many people here for such a little town. Yeah, apparently this town just gets flooded for Canada's yeah, Day. Apparently this is a place to be for Canada Day. Also, I heard this parade has candy. It's probably only for the little kids, but I'm determined to get some. <laughs> By any means. Usually put your kids over. Elbows up. I mean, I am stronger, so that should be pretty easy. And faster. But there's a reason that expression exists. Taking candy from a baby. It's for occasions like this. We made it through the entire parade and I didn't take a single piece of candy from a kid. Are you happy? I'm so proud. I still want candy, I feel robbed. One was right, there was like several times where it was right at my foot and it was a Werther's and I love Werther's but I had to hold off. Such a big man. Yeah, I'm bigger than the kids which means I can shove them aside and grab Werther's. My pretty little go away girl. We are going to the Royal Tyrell Museum to see dinosaurs! Yes! Woo! Yesterday we saw where they found the dinosaurs, or at least part of them. And today we're gonna see sweet dinosaur skeletons and all of the collection that they've gotten from all of Alberta. It's gonna be so cool. I am so and excited. So busy. We just pulled around this parking lot a few times, probably for like about five minutes looking for a spot because it is insane in here. Yeah, we picked a perfect day, Canada Day, on Canada's 150th to go basically see the, the science center of this area of Alberta. So, busiest day I'm sure for this museum. So yep. smart on us. Good job, team. This guy looks like he's waiting for you to respond to a funny joke he said. We are watching technicians dig um, out blocks and clean bones and make plaster casts for all the fossils they find. She's just chilling with the music on, just carving away at dinosaur bones. Hey, do you think she listens to rock music? Do you think that poop I took in the back country is going to turn into that someday? If we're lucky, the old poop will be in a museum for millions of years from now. Are you ready to go on an adventure? We're going to travel through time 3.9 billion years ago. Basically, just water in that era.
kid has a future in comedy in grade 5 and look at his artwork. This is what he submitted to the museum. It's Hatch.com and he's a lonely Alambio looking for love. Kids in grade 5. That moment when you realize the exhibit is alive. read that as Gorgiosaurus and she thought it was the pretty dinosaur so she wants to be a Gorgiosaurus. It's not, it's Gorgosaurus. It's stupid. I don't want to talk about it. But how did they put on makeup with that short of arms? <laughs> they had to get friends to do it for them. Just in case you forget. I do sometimes. Where are you? Right here. Where are you? You don't know. The artist just got lazy with this and drew half, and they're like, eh, hey, we'll just put a mirror on the other side and it'll look like the whole thing. There's, there's so many dad shirts here, it's great. Look at this shirt. <laughs> and like, Cutosaurus Rex, Triceratops. Have I mentioned that I love museums? I'm eating again. You're always eating though, when do I film? <laughs> <laughs> I love museums too. I think the my summary of that museums was dinosaurs. Nailed it. Mm -hmm. Information overload. Also nailed it. And screaming children. Yeah, there's definitely a mixed range of children who either loved it and were playing with all the interactive displays or just frightened children that just did not want to be there at all. And you know, I feel like you would have been the latter as a kid. No. Frightened? Yeah. Definitely not. Or just like bored. I would have been like, let's climb on these dinosaurs. That seems like a better use of these bones. <laughs> Didn't really have the appreciation uh, for fossils back then. Anyways, that was an awesome museum. So much information, so many cool things to see. I just showed you guys like a snippet there. If you're in the Drumheller area at all, even if you're three hours away, let's say, come see this place because it is, it is really something. It is super cool. We give it nine vertebrae out of ten. We're about to go on the world's shortest ferry ride ever. I believe it's four minutes. Happy Canada Day! When Alana said it was short, check this out. They're literally going right over there. There's just this dude chilling out in an inner tube. Right on, man. We made it. Barely had to edit this at all. Like, the, the length of time that you're witnessing is pretty much the length of time it took to get across this. Hey, Mark, what did we just go on? The Prairie Ferry. <laughs> Who would have thought that the prairies needed a ferry? Honestly, I think it could have been improved by building a bridge but it employed someone, so I guess that's good. Yeah, Albertan jobs. Oh, let's go check out a suspension bridge. It'll be awesome, right when it's super windy all of a sudden. Sweet, hopefully I don't die. So sorry that was so jumpy last night going from like the suspension bridge to the fireworks, but here's a bit of a recap. We came back from Drumheller to Rosemary, which is the town that was going to have fireworks and, and did, and we were hanging out in the car because there wasn't really much going on in terms of Canada Day events at the time that we arrived. So we're just lying there, you know, watching some Netflix on our phone, and all of a sudden this severe thunderstorm comes through. It was a pretty good one. And uh, we were lying in the car, we had the sunroof open, just looking up through it, and there was like lightning directly above us, which was, now when I think about it, it was super cool. At the time, 
a little bit terrifying. A little bit nerve wracking to see like intense fork lightning happening right above your face. Yeah. So we kind of stopped filming. We just kind of chilled there, waited for it to pass over. And then we were like, okay, there's probably no fireworks happening. Because there's literally, like, there's still lightning, there's thunder, it's raining. And then we just hear a boom. And we roll over and we realize that we have, like, a perfect view for the fireworks. And that also Albertans are crazy and shoot off fireworks in the middle of a lightning storm. So that was super cool and a little bit terrifying at the same time. That's a bit of a recap, so I'm going to sign off for this episode. If you like the episode, give it a like, and if you want to come on a road trip with us all summer long, hit that subscribe button for more of this goofy road tripness, whatever this is. Mountains are coming. Mountains are coming. See you guys.